Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently there's a, been a new app released for the Mac called Sensi. It's supposed to do performance monitoring and also help you clean up your Mac and uh, optimize it. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video comparing it to sort of the current um, the current best one which is Clean My Mac. Um, so you can see they've called this the Next Generation Mac Performance Tool. Um, the UI already looks pretty nice. Um, there's a free download for 14 days or you can buy it. Um, they've put a lot of features there, so performance dashboard, it's got battery reporting if you've got a laptop, RAM monitor, that kind of stuff. They're saying it's a pro Mac cleaner for everyday user. Um, so yeah, we'll check out all the different features. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff to do with storage, you can uninstall apps. Um, and yeah, they've got thermal stuff, which is quite nice to see. Um, so it looks like a kind of all-in-one tool. Um, they're comparing it here to a few others. I've not really used the first two, but I've used Clean My Mac X a lot. Um, that price they've put is a one-time purchase for I think three licenses. Um, so you can get Clean My Mac cheaper than that if you just buy it for one computer, um, or if you buy the yearly plan. Uh, but yeah, let's download this. So I'm just going to install it now. Okay, there we go. So let's open it up. So first, uh, the usual Mac Gatekeeper. Um, so yeah, we'll accept that. Uh, there's a few permissions to give, so you need to install a helper. So I'm just going to do that. And give it access to your files. And that's it. <coughs> so you can see that you've got a 14 day free trial, um, which is nice. So you can try out all the features, see if it's useful for you. Um, obviously, my computer that I'm using on at the moment is a Hackintosh, so not all of these, not of all of this information is going to be correct. Um, you know, you can see my computer obviously wasn't manufactured in 2025. Um, <laughs> that's one example, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can see you've got an overview of all the storage. Um, you've got the processor, GPU as well, which is nice because a lot of monitoring apps for the Hackintosh don't actually monitor your GPU, so seeing that is pretty nice. Okay, uh, let's have a look at some of the other menus. So you've got Optimize, um, so this does a few things. You've got Uninstall, Clean and Trim. You've got Storage, so that's just an overview of all your drives. So this is my main boot drive, which is my NVMe drive. Um, you can see the health, which is pretty good. Um, there's a quite a lot of information there. Um, you know, the operating temperature, uh, you know, how much the drive's been used, how many cycles, that kind of stuff, which is all pretty good to see. Um, nothing game changing there. Um, the graphics, so this is pretty nice. Uh, like I said before, most apps that monitor stuff on the Mac don't include the GPU and the Hackintosh. Um, don't know why, but this one seems to have picked it up fine. Um, and you can see the utilization and the speed, that kind of stuff as well. Um, so I usually use hardware monitor. For some reason, I can't get the GPU to show in that. But I didn't have to do anything for this. It just came in. Um, and these are my thermals. So you can see that's my uh, all-in-one cooler. Uh, so that's the pump speed, sorry. And that's the two fans that I've got in as well. Um, and one thing to note so far, the UI is really nice. Um, it looks like something maybe even Apple would have designed themselves. Um, but yeah, let me just open and clean my Mac now so we can start comparing it. If I can find it. There it is. Um, so right off the bat, uh, Sensei definitely is a nicer looking app. Um, but feature wise, I guess just looking at the menus, um, clean my Mac seems like it's got more. Um, <coughs> so optimization is something that they both do, so I can try and compare those directly. Um, so right off the bat, Clean My Mac seems to have found a lot more stuff than uh, Sensei. Um, that's about, I don't know, it looks like about 20 things there on Clean My Mac, whereas there's only 7 under the login items for uh, Sensei. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I mean, I guess that's a tick in the box for Clean My Mac. Uh, let's see what else is there. Um, move on to launch agents. Um, pretty similar picture here again. Uh, Clean my Mac showing more options than 
picked up more stuff than uh, Sensei. Um, although two of those are Sensei itself, and um, it seems like it's categorized it into more than one, so we've got Launch Demons as well. Um, I guess we'll put this down to Sensei being pretty new. Uh, maybe it's not aware of everything yet. Um, but yeah, definitely at the moment, that's a win for Clean My Mac. Um, so let's look at the actual cleaning up of the system. Um, so it splits it into sort of large files, user cache, that kind of stuff. Um, but it looks like, you know, you have to kind of select everything one by one, which looks to be a bit of a pain, to be honest. Um, it's still good that it shows you all the stuff that you maybe wouldn't see on normal, like you wouldn't just find that. Um, but yeah, on Clean My Mac, what you can do is you can do a smart scan. Um, and this kind of brings everything together, everything you're seeing on Sensei, it kind of shows it all in one one easy view. Um, so you can review the details if you want the more info. Um, but yeah, oddly enough, <coughs> again, the numbers don't seem to match up between the two. So I guess, yeah, they've got different definitions of what counts as junk. Um, again, Clean My Mac seems to be finding more. Um, but yeah, uh, again, early days for Sensei, I guess. So we'll do a system junk scan now as well. So that's just a sort of one of the individual scans from before. Um, you've got another feature here, mail attachments. You've also got your trash bins. Um, basically, I'm just showing, I guess, that Clean My Mac has, at the moment, <laughs> way more features. Um, this is one I really like, actually. It's the privacy one. So they've just added this application permissions thing. So now with Catalina, you can see which apps you've got have got various permissions. Um, again, you can't do that on Sensei. Um, they've got a few maintenance tasks as well. Um, not sure how much difference those things actually make, but they are there. Um, and now we've got the uninstaller. So this is pretty much the same on both. It gives you both. <coughs> it gives you all of the apps on um, that you've got installed on your Mac. So um, I've, let's see if I can find something to uninstall just to see if the process is any different. Uh, let's go for Text Wrangler here. I don't think that supports Catalina, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so that's pretty quick. Um, I'll get rid of Brave as well, I'm not using that anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, Sensor was a bit quicker, it was a smaller app though, but both generally they do the exact same thing. Um, Sensor also has this uh, trim driver you can enable for your SSD. Um, I don't really know what that does to be honest, uh, so I'm not going to try that. Um, especially because I've only got the trial at the moment, I don't want to rely on that. Um, but yeah, we can just go look at some of the health stuff again. Um, I think this is a, this is where they stand out at the moment, is their uh, monitoring of all your devices. Um, especially for Hackintosh users who, you know, we've, uh, we've chosen every part that's in our com computer. It's nice to be able to monitor it all, especially in a pretty, uh, pretty nice looking app. Um, like I said earlier, it, it does look like something Apple themselves would have made. Um, so yeah, it, I think at the moment, uh, for the optimization kind of side, uh, cleaning the Mac, Clean My Mac is still the winner, but it's been around for a lot longer. Um, there's a lot of potential, I think, in Sensei, and it's definitely a much nicer looking app, and the performance monitoring in general is pretty nice. Um, I think I'd quite like to see them build upon that, because um, their interface is pretty nice, so if they came up with like menu bar extensions, that kind of stuff, um, you can probably see it already on mine. I'll use Hardware Monitor, that's up there in the top right. Or it's got fan speed, that kind of stuff, uh, temperature for the CPU, having it always visible is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, if you could get all this kind of stuff in the menu bar, I'd be pretty keen on that. Um, otherwise, you can see Clean My Mac's got some other features to help you. Um, you, can, you, know, you can delete files permanently so they can't be recovered, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, um, like I, said, I think the performance monitoring is, is the way to go for them. That's something they should focus on. There's definitely room for that. Um, as they are a lot cheaper than Clean My Mac, I think there is potential to you know have both living side by side. Um, you probably don't want to have two apps doing the same thing over and over again. Um, but because Sensei does incorporate a lot of the other stuff, like I said, the performance monitoring, so maybe I could replace hardware monitor. Um, yeah, I'd be pretty keen on that. And I think I'm keen to see how they get on and how they develop. But yeah, um, if you've got any comments or you guys want to know anything more, let me know in the comments. And see you guys in the next one.